It's the May long weekend 2024. I have four days off work, five nights to just camp, fish, and to enjoy the outdoors. Stick with me on this week's outdoor adventure. Hi, my name is Dan and welcome to DC Outdoors. If this is your first time here and you like outdoor adventure videos, gear reviews, and other outdoor related stuff, well please get started by hitting the like, subscribe, and bell notification buttons so you don't miss anything. Well, let's get on with this week's outdoor adventure. All right, everybody, we are out doing some fishing out at Pigeon Lake, Alberta. Uh, my son and I are out a uh, pretty late start. It is the end of the day, so I think we got out here maybe about 7.30. Uh, did a few casts. Uh, I think it's bright, I'll say bright, until maybe around 10, but uh, the conditions are pretty overcast and relatively cloudy, and it's cold. It's probably maybe like six degrees Celsius, but with the wind and the lack of sun, it probably feels more like three degrees Celsius. So there's not a soul out here uh, off the provincial park uh, fishing. So yeah, we're gonna try our luck here for a little bit. Uh, we're casting some spoons right now, but uh, yeah, I might try some jigs or maybe even try a pickerel rig here with some minnows and worms. We'll see, but uh, we have, we'll throw a few things at them. Uh, we're ideally looking for walleye tonight, but I do know that there's some pike here too. But yeah, walleye is the main species. And uh, yeah, just me and the chicken king, just me and my son tonight. So stick with us, wish us luck, and uh, yeah, hopefully we'll bring in a fish. All right, first cast of the open water season. Let's go. Are you hung up? Yeah, I'll help you right away. The water level is really low. Yeah. Yeah. Do you need help? Gotta fish on, guys. Come on, baby. Did it get off? It got off. I got. I got off! Ah!
Well, we're back at it. Uh, did a little bit of fishing this morning. Didn't have very much luck, so headed back to camp. And then a pretty substantial rain and hail kind of storm blew through. So we hunkered down, had a little nap. And uh, yeah, now we're back fishing. But uh, we gave up on the area that we were before and we're fishing one of the creek inlets that uh, flows here into the lake. So some rain is still blowing in behind us. You can see I got my rain hood on and uh, People were catching in here though, that's cool. We saw a family, uh, a guy and a bunch of kids, and kids caught a couple, and then another guy was walking out of here with a whole stringer full of walleye. So there's fish to be had, and uh, yeah, hopefully we get one. We've been putting in the time, so wish us luck. Keep fighting. Keep that rod tip up. Ugh. Yeah, I got him. That's cool, buddy. Tacos in a bag. Mm. Is it good? Mm-hmm. Good. <laughs> oh, that's looking good. Well, good morning, everybody. It's Sunday, just had our second sleep here, and I'm up taking Max for a little walk, and a little pee, little pee walk, I guess, if you will. We didn't stay up too late last night. We were probably in bed by around 11, uh, but it rained off and on, and uh, we had the furnace on in the trailer, take the chill off here and there, and it came on a couple times but uh, she must have rained overnight because everything is pretty soggy you can hear her grouse uh, yeah pretty soggy it's supposed to rain pretty much all day today and in fact I thought it was going to be raining more this morning so kind of surprised it's about 7.30 like I said, we're going to take Max for a walk, then I'll go back to camp and take Raider out here for a walk, I think. And then I don't know, we might try to go fishing again back at that creek, kind of at the mouth of the lake. But uh, it'll all just depend on this rain. Let's go. Oh, you gotta jump over a tree. Look at this. What are you gonna do? Gotta go that way. You're gonna go this way. Let's go this way. Jump over. Just jump over. Up, up. Good boy. Well, we're back out at it, doing a little bit more fishing. Got me and the boys. Kids right now are casting, so I think we got a, maybe two jigs going with the kids casting away here. And uh, I'm using the pickerel rig again with minnows. And we're just back out here on this creek where you were yesterday. So there is certainly a lot of rain in the forecast. You can probably see the dark clouds behind me, and that's the direction that the rain will likely blow in on. So we're going to fish here for a little bit until we get rained out or or too hungry and then we're gonna head back to camp and uh, I think the wife is making up some pancakes and uh, breakfast sausages so yeah hopefully we catch something put in the effort yesterday and uh, hopefully today we're rewarded I kept that one. It falls right in between that 43 to 50 centimeters mark that I can keep. So kept one for the frying pan that I'm sure we'll cook up later here for a snack. But uh, still going to try to keep at it. The clouds are kind of closing in behind us and we felt a few raindrops. But stick at it a little bit more and let's see if we can catch another one.
Yeah, I'm filming. You got one? He was on my line the whole time. Really? Yeah. I bet you he was. Can you get up to him? Do you want me to help? Okay, bring him in. Oh yeah, for sure. Yep. Come on in. Bring him in. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll keep that tension good. Keep the tension. You're doing good. Keep the line up. Good. Yep, I'm getting it. Get my nut, get my nut, get my nut. Get it? I'm getting the nut. Bring it here, bring it here, bring it here. <laughs> he's still on? I don't know, he's right under here. And he's on, he's on. He's on. I don't know. He might have been straight away. He's still on, I feel him. He's gone. He's gone off. He's gone, he's gone. That counts. I think he's gone. He's such a minute. Yeah, crazy. How did he get? He this went water under there. Deep, though. He's down there now. He's down there. Scoop down there. He might be under there. I tried. Oh, yeah, he's gone. I can't see him. But that's a good catch. I count that one. I saw him. It's a counter. Can I keep 100%. We got a camera gone a weird. That one got off. We got it right to the shore and then it spat the hook, but we'll get another line in there. Let the little guy, little H, get you another one. Let's go. Yeah? Did it spit off? Dang, let's try again. Let's take a look. Reel him in. We'll get those lines clean and let's try again. Let's get him. What? What? Did you get robbed again? Uh, seafood. The body's gone. He probably did get a bite. Those are some interesting weeds. Okay, let's clean them up. Friends, it's Monday, about 11 in the morning. The Snack Squad and I are back out fishing here. We're ideally targeting walleye. I know that there's piking here too, but we're hitting the same little creek inlet that we did uh, yesterday, but she's raining. Um, it's supposed to rain here for a little bit more and then clear up later in the afternoon, but we got a game seven Oilers game tonight, so we wanted to try to get out and do some fishing earlier. Um, the boys are using pickerel rigs, and I'm actually casting out just a bobber with a jig head and a worm, so um, yeah, we'll see what happens, and uh, wish us luck, we'll check in soon. Got a fish on here, ladies and gentlemen. I'll probably try to net him.
Well, we're back at it. We're gonna give it another try. Uh, I guess it's around five o'clock Monday evening. My uh, youngest son and my wife went home and it's just uh, me and my oldest son here at camp and we took off back here to the creek. It rained off and on all afternoon. Finally stopped here a little bit ago. Like I said, it's around five o'clock. Uh, we're gonna fish till around seven or just thereafter. It's a big Oilers game tonight, big hockey game tonight. So we get back to camp so we can watch that. But we got a couple hours of fishing ahead of us and uh, yeah, hopefully we got some luck. Let's go. We got a fish on. I think we do. I think we got a fish on, guys. It's a Walter. It's a Walter. There you go. Good job, my man. You can unclip him. Oh, turn him around. <laughs> Is he gone? Yeah. Good job, buddy. Good job. Oh. Come on, fishy. Can we get the net? I think I'm okay so far. No! 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 Good, yeah, put him in that way. Off he goes. Really? <laughs> Walleye whisper going at it.
He gone. Good job. Morning everybody, Tuesday morning, maybe just before 8 o'clock, Chicken King and I made our way back down here to this little inlet here to the lake and we're using some pickerel rigs again and we're hoping to catch some more walleye. Nice day this morning, maybe only 2 or 3 degrees, but at least it's not raining and the water is calm, so stick with us and uh, hopefully we can catch a few more fish here uh, this morning. Walleye whispers fighting one in. Get him over here, I can scoop him. There you go, landed. Ugh. Teamwork makes the dream work. There you go, buddy. Sorry. No. If I can get him, once I get him, just let him run. Get out of the sticks, bud. Hello. Second in a row, eh? Yeah, kid got one a second ago, and here's one for me, hopefully, if I can land him. What is it, a pike or? No, there's a walleye. Yeah, lots of walleye in here. Yeah. Sorry, man. I'm just... using my rattle bait. Didn't get... Well, I got a lot of bites, but. There's... I think there's just so many weeds for that, right? Oh, yeah. She's tough. She's hard. Come here, buddy. Oh, you guys just use a pickle rig, guys. Eh? Yeah, you betcha. They've been working pretty good for us. Kids tried some jigs on the earlier on the weekend, but okay, no, no, we didn't have any luck with oh, anything yeah. else except I really these guys. Question for you. Yeah. Uh, I think I lost my pocket knife somewhere. Like, do you guys have a like a pocket knife somewhere that can blow? A pocket knife? Yeah. Sure. Just give me a second no worries, here. Man. Thanks. Yeah, what do you need? Like, just like a Swiss Army knife? Uh, like a I short? My dad got the, uh, the fishing line all tangled up. Okay, so gotcha. Yeah. yeah, but I lost my. So. Sure, man, I'll get you in just a second. There we go. That's three. <laughs> A whole last year. Oh, thanks. Yeah, you're yeah. welcome. I'll be right back with you. Thanks. Yeah, of course. <sighs> That's a nice one. Oops, sorry buddy. Hang on. You're pulling a... <laughs> Sorry, I know. I know. I can't even open his mouth, this one. There we go. Okay.
Your strategy? What's your strategy? I did. Fly away, little guy. Oh, here he is. There we go. Yahoo! Got another one here. Whoops. I can't just keep towing it. <laughs> there you go. Nice one. I got a little lane here. Can you pass me the net? Yep. Um, Did he spit off? Nice, He's running. There he goes. Come on, little buddy, this way. You want me to do it or you? It's a pike! Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's a nice pike. That's why he's running. Get in there, you son of a gun! <laughs> it's just so heavy! <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah, sure. Ooh -wee. That was a battle. Let me unclick him and slime you. That's a big ass jack. Yeah. Right nice through the lip. Top lip. Yeah, it's perfect. Holy smokes, it's a fatty. Okay, let's send him home. Yeah, nice fish, eh? Thanks, buddy. Come on, bud. All right, everybody. Well, as you can see, we're back here in the truck and we're going to wrap this one up. What an absolutely fun long weekend. Uh, we finished it off today with two walleye, right? Did you get two walleye? Today? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Two walleye for the walleye whisperer today, a walleye and a pike for me. So I think that that put me at three walleye and a pike on this trip. And how many walleye for you? Uh, seven. Seven walleye for the walleye whisperer and one right to the weeds for the little guy, my youngest son there, but it spat off right at the top, but we're going to count that one too. So pretty good weekend of fishing, uh, camping and, you know, just hanging out outdoors. So if you made it this far, I really do want to thank you as always for watching. And uh, for some crazy reason, if this was your first time here and you like outdoor adventure videos, gear reviews and other outdoor related stuff, well, please hit that like, the subscribe and the bell notification button so you don't miss anything. Until next time. We'll see you outdoors.